wonderful Vibe Tribe. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am talking about my most requested topic and that is how to start shuffling. to talk about my shuffle journey, how I got started, and give you guys some tips on how you can start today. This isn't a tutorial by any means, just a couple of tips to get you guys started. For those that don't know me, I'm Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. My shuffle journey started back in 2017 when I just moved to Austin, Texas. I didn't know anyone when I moved to Austin, so in that time, before I made any friends, I taught myself how to shuffle. So today, I'm going to give you guys my best tips and my best advice if you are wanting to learn how to start shuffling. I'm also going to link a blog post down below from my website vibewithaid.com as well as a playlist of shuffle tutorials that helped me a lot when I first got started. So like I said my shuffle journey started back in 2017 but before then I was super inspired by people that shuffled. I would watch them at festivals all day long. I followed people like Elena Cruz, Gabby J. David on social media and just was completely in awe of people that shuffled. When I first moved to Austin I had really no friends. <laughs> I didn't know anyone in Austin, so those first couple of weeks that I lived there, I started to shuffle. Luckily, my TV has like the YouTube app and I lived alone, so I just had like this whole open living room space to myself where I could just throw tutorials on and just learn. Since then, I shuffle at shows and festivals, you know, whenever I just hear that house beat, something just comes over me and I just start going. <laughs> now, it's been two years since I started shuffling, which is crazy to me. It doesn't even feel that long but it's become such a great way for me to release some energy express myself and just let the music take me away at music festivals and shows so the way i got started and this will be a constant theme throughout the video is practice 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 i practiced at the gym i practiced when i got home from work i practiced on the weekends i practiced on friday nights because i had no friends so i just practiced i practiced whenever i could so i found the time and i made the time to practice and i think that's how i've been able to progress throughout my journey i probably could be a lot farther along i don't practice as much as i used to however now that ryan and i have been trying to learn how to mirror i've been practicing a lot more thanks to him but that's how you get good at anything you just practice. Then as I kept on practicing, whenever I went to shows, I would just forget anyone was watching me, forget about anything else and took what I learned and I just started doing it at shows, doing it at festivals, forgetting what I looked like, forgetting what people thought and just did it and I kept on doing it and it's been so great to have been doing this. So when it comes to you and your shuffle journey, here are the best tips that I can offer. Like I said, practice makes perfect. There's that one quote from Malcolm Gladwell that if you spend 10,000 hours doing something, you can really become like the master of it. And while a lot of people have debunked that, it still holds true that the more time you dedicate and devote yourself to learning something and to getting good at something, you're going to get better. If you see the top shufflers today, they still practice. They still set aside time to practice and get better at things to perfect those moves and things like that. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't practice. You have to practice. Even some of the more classically trained shufflers who danced growing up, they still started somewhere. What I always like to do is I go to their older videos and you can see where they started and you can see how they've truly progressed and grown since then and that could be the same for you. You can just start today, see where it takes you. You just never know. So one thing that is super helpful is using a mirror or recording yourself. I think this is super helpful to see how you actually look when you're shuffling. Is there ways that you need to type in certain moves or you need to exaggerate certain things to get across what the move that you are trying to do. What I used to do is that I have one of those longer Walmart mirrors. I would lean it up against my entertainment center right in front of the TV so that when I was learning the tutorial I could directly see my feet and see how my feet were moving as I was learning that new move. If you happen to have access to like a gym where they do have like mirrored walls that's super helpful. I do use that. I always make sure that it doesn't conflict with like a class schedule or something so that I'm able to use the space as I please and don't have to worry about like getting interrupted by a class. <laughs>
another thing is to take it slow. Be patient with yourself. I know you might have that one song that you want to get down that's like a bass house song where the BPM is just like super fast and you want to be able to shuffle to it. I had one of those songs. I think it was Joyride that I really wanted to shuffle to or like Abstract that I really wanted to shuffle to. And when you first start out, you're not going to go that fast. And so what I always do is take it slow. I cut that BPM, I guess, in half in a way and I just go I cut that tempo in half and just count that way one two three four five six seven eight I'll go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and so when you start to do that that's how you can start to get the momentum to learn especially with the basics like running man t-step things like that you want to take it slow so that you can really get the technique down and then once you get the technique and the foundation down you'll be able to speed it up and get faster with it some other songs that are really good or I guess subgenres that are really good to do this to is like slower tempo songs obviously but like tropical house roof is to soul has some good songs that you can start out to just that slower steady beat will help you kind of get it there's like more like laney has some stuff that would be really good to try out just to give you guys an idea if you want to just start out slow that way you're not having to cut in half that also works out too another thing that I found super helpful was learning how to eight count and doing eight counts. I did dance back in the day, probably in like middle school and high school a little bit. I didn't go anywhere with it. I'm not like the best, <laughs> obviously, but it did really help me. And I also did music. So knowing eight counts and figuring out your tempo really helps you to perfect those moves. And so whenever I hear a song in my head, I'm doing eight counts. So then before I start shuffling, I'll just say five, six, seven, eight, and then I'll just keep on counting that way I can stay on tempo and stay on beat no matter how much the beat kind of speeds up our lessons or anything like that um, and then the last tip I have is to be patient with yourself it's gonna feel uncomfortable it's gonna feel weird you're gonna look weird anytime you start anything out it's gonna be weird and it's gonna be uncomfortable when I filmed my first YouTube video that was weird when I posted my first blog post that was probably not the best grammar or best anything these things that you do and you put yourself out to for they're gonna be a little uncomfortable at first but you just have to keep on doing it and keep on being consistent and that's how you get better so then tips for shuffling at shows and festivals so say you've been practicing you feel really good about your shuffling but you're just really scared to do it in front of people I've been there it's frightening it's scary you're scared of what people might think but at the end of the day we're all at a show we're all at a festival we're all just having a good time no one really cares what you look like just forget what you look like and let the music guide you you've been practicing so don't overthink it I overthink it for sure and I've definitely done that where I just feel like oh my god I didn't do this move right or I didn't do that move right no one's really caring everyone still kind of hypes you up and is like whoa when I met my boyfriend Ryan while we were shuffling I was pretty drunk and I still somehow made to land him as my boyfriend <laughs> people don't really care what you look like you can also use that time to have fun with it experiment with it and when you're at a festival you have a ton of open space to play with that you're not normally used to normally you're confined to your bedroom or a gym or your living room or something but at a festival you have so much open space and you have like dirt or grass to work with which is really good to shuffle on and so you get to have fun with it so definitely take that time to just like try out some new moves that you've been wanting to try or try and mirror with a friend or something like that and then the last thing repeat repeat and keep on repeating like I said your friends random strangers are gonna cheer you on no matter what so just keep on trying feels like it wasn't the best I'm sure you still looked great so just keep on doing it keep on shuffling at shows at festivals that's how you learn that's how you get better I hope this helped you start your own shuffle journey. I will also put in the comments below some shufflers I look up to, I follow. They might have tutorials. They have some videos on Instagram that you can learn from and be inspired by. Comment down below any questions you might have and I'll see you on the dance floor. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Join the little vibe tribe. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!